Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are showing a video of how to use luck perms. I have no idea what's going on with that squid behind me there. <laughs> but anyways, aside from that distraction, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up luck perms to get for your Minecraft server. This is where you can add ranks as well as permission nodes to your Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So getting started with luck perms, uh, you need to have at least luck perms, a vault, as well as some sort of chat plugin. I'm going to be using Essentials and Essentials X chat for my chat plugin and so you need these plugins in order for everything to work properly with luck perms if you do not have these plugins then luck perms will not load and it will not show prefixes as it should so make sure you have those plugins installed and then once you have those in plugins installed we can go ahead and do lp uh, and then help and then i will go show you your main help menu there's a lot in here and a lot that luck perms offers uh, we're going to be just doing some of the core features of making groups adding prefixes and permission nodes so let's go ahead and do that so if we do lp list groups this will show you the groups that are on the server and there is a default one and this is where everyone will be put when they join the server you cannot delete this default group and so uh, what we're going to be doing is i'm going to actually changing the name to default so um it will have like a member tag uh you can make a member group if you do want to do that as well but for easier purposes i'm just going to head and rename this as uh, a prefix and then everyone when they join the server will be in this group automatically so we don't have to worry about anything like that so let's go ahead and start making some new groups so we can do LP and then create group and this will go ahead and create a new group so let's go ahead and do uh, VIP uh, and then we'll do like MVP and then we'll do owner so you can make as many groups as you want and it's very easy to create the group so now if we do LP list groups this will go ahead and list all the groups so there we go we have all our groups set up so now uh, when the player first joins the server they'll be in the default group let's go ahead and change their uh, prefix or their display uh, to have a member okay so to do that we can do LP and then the group the name so it'll be group so once you select the group there's a whole bunch of uh, various things that you can do within this and so you can see weights you can show tracks you can see permission nodes so we're going to head and select the one called meta uh, so we'll do meta and then here is where you can set different things and so you can set and unset different things you can move a prefix you can add a temp prefix uh, so there's quite a bit of various commands we're going to be going ahead and setting using the set prefix and then now we can go ahead and insert the prefix that we want so now we need to use color codes within our prefix so this is going to be what's going to be showing in chat so we can go and do a uh, gray uh, parenthesis and then we'll just go ahead and call it uh, member so now that is what the prefix is going to look like so we should be in the pre default prefix and if we type in chat as you see it does appear right there so that is perfect so that is working out so now let's go ahead and set our prefixes for each one of our different groups so i'm just going to head and change the group and so we can go ahead and do vip and then let's go ahead and make this green uh, and then we'll do a vip go ahead and add the vip and then now we can go ahead and do the mvp and then we'll make this uh i don't know we'll make this um We'll make this gold and then we'll do MVP and then now we can do the last one which is owner and then we will go ahead and change this let's make this uh, we'll make this uh, red so we'll do owner okay so we'll go ahead and set that so there we go we have all our groups now set up so the next thing that you want to do is add an inheritance to your groups and so what inheritance does basically uh, a VIP will be able to inherit every permission node that we added to member so that way we don't have to add every single permission node from member to VIP and MVP uh, all manually. They can all inherit from one another, which is really nice. And so, uh, for example, we're going to be adding all our permission nodes to member, and then uh, then VIP would get all the permission nodes from member group added to as VIP from the inheritance. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to head and set the inheritance now, and then we'll add permission nodes after. And so uh, we can go ahead and do LP and then now we need to specify our group so we're going to be looking at our vip group and then we're going to do a parent and then you can either set or add and so set removes all your previous inheritance 
and add just adds it to whatever is there already. So if you don't have anything, you can just go ahead and, and set it to from the default group. So go ahead and enter that. Once you enter that command, it does say, you know, it cleared all the previous ones and then now it inherits from the default group in context global. So that means that that worked properly. And so we're pretty much going to be doing that the same thing to each one of these groups. And so for example, now uh, MVP will inherit everything from a VIP group. And then now the owner uh, rank will also inherit everything from the MVP group. So you pretty much just stepping up one group at a time. So go ahead and hit enter. And so now let's go ahead and start adding permission nodes. And so one thing that's really, really nice with LuckPerms is their built-in web editor. And so we can do LP editor and this will send you a link in chat. Go ahead and click it and it will take you to the website. So this is what the web editor looks like and it's really, really nice. And so you can have quick access to go to the wiki to see, you know, if you're having any travel or any uh, questions you want answered. And so over here you have your groups and then you also have the users that are currently connected. And so if we go to our default group, uh, this is, as you see, we have the prefix already. And if we go to our VIP, uh, then as you see, it also has some other uh, default permission nodes that we have added. So this group default basically is that inheritance that we added. So everything that we add to a default will be inherited in a VIP group. So let's go ahead and start adding permission nodes from our various plugins. So plugins I'm using is Essentials X, Ultimate Kits, as well as My Pet. And so uh, Ultimate Kits is on the Sangata Marketplace, and that is today's video sponsor. So be sure you check the links out down in the description. The Sangata Marketplace offers a wide variety of plugins from both Sangata as well as new and unique developers. And so there is a ton of plugins on there to choose from, some that you can't find on Spigot and some that you can. So make sure you go Go check out the links down in the description. So specifically for Ultimate Kits, you can come down here and go to documentation, and then you can go and see pretty much all the commands and permission nodes. So sometimes permission nodes will be on the specific uh, site itself. It just depends on the developer and how they want to do it. But for Sangata, you can go to their wiki and then they usually have a section commands and permission nodes. And we'll go ahead and show you all the permission nodes. And so if you see a permission that says default, that means you don't have to have anything added. And so uh, for example, here is a preview a specific kit. And so there is ultimate.kits.preview and then .kit name. And so uh, if we go ahead and just just copy this real quick. We can go ahead and copy that and then go to our web editor for LuckPerms. If we go ahead and just paste that in there, as you see, there is a sort of a highlighted syntax already. And so now we can go ahead and select the kit. So let's go ahead and just do like a PVP or something. And so you can go ahead and hit enter. So now we added that permission node, so we can go back and check uh, more permission nodes. And so this is all grouped within the admin permission nodes. We don't want users to be able to have that. And then so here is uh, some more that you can have uh, people buy a specific kit and also claim one. And so let's go ahead and actually copy this uh, so users can actually be able to claim it. So go back to our web editor and you can go ahead and just paste that the same thing in again. So if we go ahead and type in at PVP, go ahead and hit enter. It is sort of registered uh, to be uploaded to the permission node. One thing I really love about the, the editor is that it automatically hooks in and reads some of those plugins that you have. And so here is uh, some for example. So let's say we want to give uh, permission to message each other for the default group. So we can go ahead and hit that. So that is added and then we can, uh, let's say we want to pay the other people and then we also have the ability to read the rules. And so let's go ahead and add that. So once you have added this uh, section right here, it is not fully added yet. Uh, you need to come over here and click this add button on the right hand side that will fully add it to the permissions. So now we go ahead and add that. So that will add it to the permission nodes list. You're not quite done yet. You need to go ahead and click save. And then now once you have that saved, go ahead and just click apply edits. It's gonna copy it to your clipboard. And then we're gonna go back over to Minecraft and go ahead and paste that in. And there we go, you just added all your permissions that you have for your default group. So that is working properly. If you don't wanna use the web editor, uh, for some reason you don't wanna use it, you can do LP and then the specific group. And then now we can do a default group and then we can do a 
permission and then uh, we can go ahead and set and then we can go ahead and set specific permission nodes so for example we want to do my pet and then my pet dot uh, will do like uh, everything just for this video and then we can set that to true so this command pretty much does the same thing as the web editor um, it just adds the permission to your default group so I have went ahead and de opt myself so as you see I don't have any anything any commands or permission nodes except for what we added. So if we go ahead and do slash rules as you see I do have the ability to do the rules and it generates the rules for me. If we try something else like slash uh, tpa as you see I don't have access to that command that's because we did not add it to the essentials permission node that we added. We can do slash message and then that will work. We also have the pay command so if we do slash slash pay, then I will pay others. If I do slash balance or slash bow, so I do not have access to that command either. So let's go ahead and add slash balance to our VIP group. And so let me go back into our web editor real quick. So switching back to our web editor, let's go to the VIP group and let's go ahead and add essentials uh, and then we'll do dot balance. And then let's go ahead and select the balance one so that it's added. So let's go ahead and do, uh, we'll do like balance top as well. So let's go ahead and add the balance top. And let's see uh, anything else in here that we want to give. Uh, we can go ahead and do a slash jump, all right? So now we'll go ahead and add slash jump to the VIP. So let's go ahead and add that real quick. So I'm going ahead and add one more. So we'll do the essentials.feed and then let's go ahead and actually add a context to this. And so we would do a world and then let's go ahead and add this only to the world nether. And so we can go ahead and click add context. So that where we have a context, let's go ahead and add that. And as you see right here, it says here is that world. So let's go ahead and save those and then let's, let's test these out in game. And so now we need to go ahead and add myself to those specific groups. And so to do that, we can do LP user, and then you can go ahead and specify the user. So now we need to set uh, the parent. So we'll do a parent, it can be set or add. And so we can go ahead and then set myself to the VIP group. So now if we go ahead and type in chat, as you see, we have our VIP prefix that we set beforehand. And so let's go ahead and actually de opt myself and see what we have. So uh, we have the jump, uh, so we should have jump. So if we go ahead and go jump, as you see, that is working properly, as well as bow and bow top. And so uh, there we go. As you see, everything is working properly. Let me go ahead and add myself to the MVP group real quick. I added myself to the MVP via the console. So as you see, now we are in uh, MVP group and we should have the rest of these. So if we do uh, slash EC, that will bring up our ender chest and then heal. Uh, and then if we do slash feed here, as you see, I do not have access to that command. That is because that is only specifically for world nether. So let's go ahead and uh, teleport to the world nether. All right, we are in the nether. And if we go ahead and try slash feed, as you see, it does work properly because that is why we're in the nether so that is how you set up permissions per role the last thing i want to show you guys is how to add user permissions and so we can do that with lp user the specific username which is going to be me soul striker and then we'll do a permission and then set and then now we can go ahead and set a specific permission and so uh, this is useful when doing like create keys if you want to have access to a specific command or even when you uh have donator perks as well so you would add specific uh permissions to that user so we can do essentials and then dot uh i don't know let's do like bazooka okay so uh, i don't know what that is but let's go ahead and add it so that would um, uh, go ahead and add that specific permission to my user only. So now if we go ahead and do uh, D op myself and then uh, I assume B Zuka. Uh, so we Ooh. shot uh, <laughs> shot a parrot out there. Uh, boom, look Ooh. at that, that's pretty funny. So uh, there we go, Ooh. my user only has access to that permission node and then I am in the uh, VIP group. And so uh, there we go, as you see, we have the, the B Zuka, um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. So that wraps up my showcase of luck perms, how to add uh, groups as well as permission nodes to groups as well as users. So let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.